Hey, excuse me, sir. I am so sorry to bother you. I'm trying to sell this pineapple for my mom's medication. I just need like $10. It's pretty fresh and I, I hope you can use it for, you know, for your daughter. Is it is it your daughter? Oh, yeah, this is my daughter. Oh, okay. This Could is you, one you, of my kids. Okay. Could you help me out with something like maybe $10, $5, whatever you have? I really need money for my mom's medication. For yeah, I'm so sorry to bother you. I feel so embarrassed, man, even asking you, but I feel like you're a good man and you you would help me out. Honestly, bro, I got probably about like five or seven bucks in my pocket, bro. And uh, I really need that man to get her something to eat tonight, bro. But, man, you said for your mom medicine? Yes, yeah, my mom's medication. Uh, let me see. You want pineapple? You, like, you want that pineapple, mama? You like pineapple? Hold on, man, I got a... I, I really really appreciate it man like sorry i'm i feel so embarrassed even asking you i got like six dollars bro and, six uh, six dollars yeah. and you were gonna buy food for the baby yeah but uh i guess we'll eat pineapple tonight man you know probably go to the liquor store see if they got anything left over for me mm. probably get something for free from or something though know? oh my god and, and taco know me everybody over here know me and if you don't me. mind me asking like since i approach you in, in this like where do you live like do you live inside here uh embarrassingly but honestly yeah this is where i stay at man uh, right now because of my situation and what i'm going through in life right now yes this is where i stay me and my daughter wow and and if you don't mind me asking like what exactly happened do, do you mind like uh sitting right here on the step and we can just talk for a minute do you mind if oh, yeah. i hear your story yeah what's your name my name is chris, chris by the way chris chris nice to meet you brother nice to meet you chris. And th thank you so much for helping out but i i just wanted to like hear your story so what exactly happened how did you started living in in like on the street yeah. or the rv or well honestly man probably about i said probably about like a year ago my life was going my life was pretty cool man my life was pretty cool about a year ago but and what happened i made decisions in life and dealt with certain people and uh had a baby with a certain person that left me out here on my own when everything got hard and stuff the bills started piling up covid came kind of shut my, my my mobile detailing business down and uh, I started, I kind of went downhill, man. I couldn't have, I had no money. And uh, you know what they say, if uh, if it's true love, they'll stay and help you and get through it. Yes. But honestly, this one right here, I guess it wasn't true love, man. Cause so who she was she and what she, did she do? Like, what was her role? Oh, it's uh, the girl's, uh, her name's Chazney. And uh, this is uh, her daughter right here. And she basically left me with her daughter, man, to fend for myself. And uh, I've been out here. I moved from Arizona probably about like five months ago, six months ago, and I've been out here, man, in this RV thanks to my good friend. Uh, he's not here right now, but uh, he went so to this the is your friend's store. RV that he's letting you no, stay. He, no, he works here. It's not even his RV. This is boss RV. His boss don't even know I stay here, bro. He just sneaks me in here. So that's oh, why when you God. ask me that you need the medicine for your mother, kind of relate to you, man, because I get helped out. Wow. I get helped out, bro. So it's just... and and how long has this been going for like how many years or months or uh, it's been i've been having her by myself for a year and a half and um in the beginning i was able to i had enough money saved up to be able to get rooms and stuff like that for three months but at a hundred dollars a night that money runs out fast man it, so it does i've been i've been here for probably about like probably about nine months six months man so when you're talking about your your ex girlfriend or wife whatever um she 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 was the bad she was the one bad to you like how did her role like brought you here i know you said you were Honestly, going through bad times because she uh when the going when it got rough she left and did what she had to do to, to help herself survive she didn't care about the baby she didn't care about me and I, I was so focused on helping her i didn't know that she was using me and not giving a not giving the fuck that she's taking the money from her daughter and I'm helping her out. She's lying to me, telling me she needs help for bills. She needs help for the move, to pay her rent where she stayed with her grandmother. But it was all a lie, man. And uh, she basically just left me stuck with the baby, man. And uh, honestly, I, I can do things on my own, but when you have a two-year-old with you, man, you see what she's doing now. Right, right. When you have a two-year-old with you, man, it kind of get, it gets harder than what most people think, man. And I've been doing this for probably about like six months. And it'd be times where I want to give up, man. And uh, so I blame her for a lot of this, man. If I if, if she was able to be a mother right. and at least help me out with at least a, a, a babysit, at least three days out the week, I'd get a part-time job. What but, would your message be to people that are watching this video about your ex or, you know, what would you say about anybody, like something you want to say to people? Honestly, what I say to people is be careful who you have a baby with because you never know the true colors of somebody even years after. 
And then, hold on, mama. I got you in, baby. And then, to the, to the person <clears throat> who, I don't hate you no more. I did for a long time. But I don't understand you either. But I don't hate you no more. It is what it is. And if you're watching this video, can you please just help me out with your daughter a little bit? I don't want no money from you. I don't. I, I, all I need is some help for you to babysit. Support. The support, support. That's it. And to be there for her, not me. We don't have to be together. You don't have to be with me or none of that. At I least take care of the daughter. At least take care of the daughter. That's please. that's so sad, man. Like, and who who are the people that are helping you out? You know, that are letting you stay Actually, over here. Uh, I don't know if you've seen, but my one of my friends just pulled up right here. Uh, she's right here. I don't know if you want me. Oh, she's. Oh, those yeah. are your, those are the people that are letting you stay there. Yeah, yeah that's. My, my, my man's in a barbecue pit. Wow. You, know I'm check on him? you this, guys are. Man, we you guys. Here. You know, we you guys. You're an here. angel, man. You guys are amazing. God bless Always. you guys. You guys are yeah, no. so nice to him. Like and. Always. They and even though, even though he doesn't have enough, right? Yeah, yeah, honestly, he only has six dollars, oh, and man, he, this is making me emotional, man. And you, you, you decided to help uh, me, man. Like honestly, this is, this is so incredible, man. Like, trust me, I went with this pineapple to like, at least fifteen people in front of like Walmart, Target, and you know what people are telling me, pushing me, and telling me go get a money. job. No, they don't. They don't want to help me for my mom's medication. You know, I can relate to you, man. I get that a lot, man. Uh, I tried to sell candy bars to be able to provide at least some food for my daughter throughout the night, man. I, I even, I even tried to sell cookies. Wow. And uh, I took my daughter out there with me, and it's hard, even when you're selling something like that, man. People will look at you like, look, he's a big guy. He's he could move around. He 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 got two arms, two feet. He could work. But they don't know the story behind what I'm really going through. Yeah, I'm able to work and I love to work. I love to make money. Right. But I can't work if I have no babysitter. The own mother won't help. The mother family won't help. My family won't help. So it's just wow. really, honestly, I, I feel your pain, man. I feel your pain. Uh, I hope you, you're able to, I know it's not 10 bucks, bro. I only have $6 on me, man. But I hope you ever get that medicine, man. And I'm going to love that pineapple, man. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm gonna cut that pineapple up, man. Put some hot sauce on it. I, I want to give it to you, but I wanted to like hear your story. What's the other thing um, you want to tell people that judge so easily? You know, like how you get judged, yeah. how I get judged. What do you want to say to those people? Honestly, man, uh, you can't read a, you can't judge a book by its cover because at the end of the day, you never know. You might, you might talk to me. You might look at me. You probably think, oh, he's a big black guy. He's a uh, he, he, I don't want to get too close to him. He might do something to me. He might try to rob me because he's down on his luck. But honestly, wow. man, I love everyone, man. And um, I'm a good, I'm a great person, man. And I always give everything forward. Like, like, hey, I told you, man, that's my last six bucks I have, man. Wow. Man, get the medicine, man. Bro, God medicine. bless you, man. Do you, and then one last question I ask everybody. I'm sorry I'm taking so much of your time. I know, it's no uh, problem, man. Do you she, believe... She's not going to bed around like eight. <laughs> okay. Do yeah, you believe in any high power? Like, do you believe in God? Do you believe in any kind of God, anything. Honestly, yes, I believe in God. I believe in God. Is there times where I doubt God? Of course, sometimes. But right. I, so I, I pray on it, man. As we, like right now, I don't know how we finna eat. Hopefully the pineapple get us full, man. But I'd rather give you your medicine before. Bro, you're, you're like I, an I angel, be. bro. God bless you. You know what? Here, uh, take this pineapple. But let me tell you, this is not a uh, regular pineapple. Does it look like regular or does it look like a different one? Uh, it looks regular. It was regular. tropical or something. <laughs> All right. What I want you to do is turn it around and see what it says on there. You paid thirty thousand dollars for this pineapple, man. You think I'm selling it for thirty thousand? I hope not, cause shit, I wouldn't be buying it, man. I, I can't afford that. <laughs> you know what, bro? Here, since you decided to help me, I want to go ahead and bless you with Fuck, this one. You're, you're, you're lying, man. I'm not lying, man. This is for you, bro. Here. <sighs> Man, this was a I social experiment. That, I'm a YouTuber. I go to people, and I want to see you know people are going through. And this you're, is you're what I wanted to do for you, bro. You're a YouTuber. Yes, this is what I wanted to do for you. So you don't you don't need the medicine for your mother. I did not need the medicine. I'm so sorry, you know, for for lying to you. I feel bad. I feel yes. you know, I yes. feel so terrible. But so, this is what I wanted to do with you. What is, what, what would you do with it, man? Honestly, what I do with it, uh, you know, I kind of have, I kind of have a job lined up, man. Okay. I kind of have something going on in the future. Honestly, what I want you to do with this, man, I want you to give this to somebody that needed more than me, man. I have a shelter right here, man. Wow. I have a shelter, bro. I have a shelter, you man. have. Honestly, a you, big... could, you could probably buy something, eat from McDonald's, or 
they'll talk right here, but honestly, you can give that to somebody wow. that needs it, man. Bro, you know what? I here. got a shelter, man. It's, it's a lot of it's a lot of homeless people over here. Here, here's your money back, bro. You, you're an angel, man. Like, yeah. give me a hug, bro. Like, oh, man, no problem, we man. need more people like you. And oh, man, no problem, man. A message to people, like, don't judge people. Like, oh, just man, because no, of his race man. or Honestly, just man, because pe that. homeless That's people, crazy. you know, whatever people, don't ever judge anybody, people. Like, we are too bad. Like, the world we live in, we judge people so easily just based on man. how they look or how they are, you know, or based on race or based on, it can be anything, you know? And I, I know I might look like the most biggest, scariest guy, but honestly, man, look. Look, I, I didn't get she scared loves of me. you. She I loves me. And I didn't get scared of you, you know? I thought you were one of the nicest men and, and I was right about it, you know? Man, honestly, I, I didn't think that you, man, it's, I'm still kind of blown by the fact. Honestly, man. God bless you, bro. No, God, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you for, bro. for what you're doing, God yes, bless you. God bless you, man. God bless you, man, and if you can, with that that you want to give me um it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a homeless camp over man can you can you go get yeah. buy some tents or something walmart's right here yeah yeah yeah. you can I buy mean, some tents or something with that man okay. and i'll be cool with a meal for tonight other than that man i just All appreciate right. your company for I'll right get now you. yes and yes I, bro. man you kind of blew my mind with that one man i really thought you needed the medicine yeah uh, bro god bless you thank man. you man